You're hurting me. My wrists are bleeding from your shackles. My neck is bruised from your noose. I can barely breathe with these punctured lungs and internal bleeding. Your sticks and stones have broken my bones. You searched for my shameful scars and reopened healed wounds. Archaeologists digging up acquitted fossils once painfully bruised my legs. My legs are shaking like earthquakes as I cry tsunamis of tears that flood. We used to be clear understanding my peace of mind has been fried by random paranoid lightning which causes every ounce of confidence to avalanche. Yet, you seem to be happy with this natural disaster. No need to nationally inquire, I'm agreeing with you. What's being called rumors are not rumors because it's true. Yes, I am guilty. Yes, my mind is gone. Yes, I'm exactly everything you said I was. And if I could, I would take most of my past and write out and erase, rewrite, replace, edit, format, cut, never paste. Actually, I completely throw it all away because the mere thought of some of the things I've done makes my own stomach turn and saliva build up under my tongue. And as I muster enough strength to lift up the swollen lids of my eyes, I see you. I don't know, wait, you? I blink again due to blurred vision and all I see are wolves in church linens that have carved out judgment seats of wooden images that they've created for themselves to sit in. Listen, I'm repentant. I've been forgiven. They began beating me with bats of who I was in my past, making me walk back down my halls of shame on shattered glass top. I'm begging you. I'm pleading. They replied, for your sin, Forgiveness can't be that easy. Frozen with fear, I had no defense. Death, hell, and damnation eternal made sense for the offense. Then they sealed my sentence with biblical words like wrath and judgment. I nervously sweat out every ounce I had of sanity and was intravenously given liquids of confused agony, rightfully accused, so I willingly traded truth for a straight jacket, padded white walls, and no shoes. Right down the hall from a lady singing the blues, a maid. Sing grace. Oh, sweet, the sound. Please save a wretch like me. I once was found, but now I'm lost. So blind, no, I can't see. Tears, snot, face pressed against the cold concrete floor. Didn't even know my name anymore while chaos, depression, suicide all tried to bust down the door. Jesus, what do you want from me? Jesus, Jesus, should I put myself in a fast? Should I, should I take out all my piercings and get rid of my tats? Should I, should I donate to a cause? Maybe adopt a foreign kid? Jesus, Jesus, how, how can I help you rid me of my sins? Jesus, where are you? What do you want me to do? A familiar voice saturated with love then said, I never left you. It was you who lost faith. Asking for forgiveness for what I already forgave, I knew you. Long before you came after tea with no caffeine, I opened your eyes. Never willingly go back to being blind. Never esteem anyone else's word over mine. Trust my word made manifest on the inside. I love you with an everlasting love. I meant it when I said it is finished, it is done. You are destined to walk on water. Take another step. Keep your focus on me. You will never, ever need a life vest. So I began to break down prison walls with my praise. And with sledgehammers of his grace that is sufficient, I was so weak, but now in him I have perfect strength and perfect love. So now I have no fear. Escaping boldly from your dark forest was reminded of whose I was when Christ appeared. Which brings me back to you. You, who tried to snatch the Lamb's book to try and erase my name. But my name was written with his blood and bloodstains. No one can ever take away from me what Christ gave, but may grace and mercy be upon those whose mouths can't be trusted and whose throats are open graves. You kept feeding me, but now I understand why I was malnourished. Plate at the plate of rules, regulations, with small doses of deception so that truth never flourished. False doctrine, religion, a million and one methodical ways of living in dictation based on what you randomly fill in in the spirit. Numerous tactics while his love remained absent and still so much self-condemnation and hopes to condemnations. 
You are unfair. I see, Pharisee. Look up. Look up beyond your puppet strings and you'll see who your father truly is. I only know one identified as the accuser of the brethren. See, I believe in Christ and the power of who he is forever will be and was. And that laying down was life is one of the greatest acts of love. God, my father, sent his son. How dare you disrespect him by trying to downplay the power of his blood. Blatantly offending God by trying to add to the cross like the one and only perfect sacrifice was not enough. For I am persuaded to neither death nor life no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, my Lord. I have now sown truth in my roots. No longer bound by your opinion, I am free from you. Uprooted every single seed you planted of doubt. Now, in Jesus' name, tell the whole truth or shut your mouth.